and let's start by finding neutral spine. So just going to rock the pelvis back and forward. Find that soft curve in your spine. And we're going to hold it there. Find the tension around your waist. So pulling in at the waist. Lifting up at the pelvic floor. So you've just got that soft tension in your core. And let's focus on the breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Big deep breaths. So we're going to gently start warming up. So we're going to take the arms in the air and we're going to do the easy version of the coordination exercise. So keeping the foot on the floor, just going to stretch the arm and leg away from you. Just to get things moving nice and gently. Stretching away. Lengthen the arm back, lengthen the leg away. Two more. Last one. Very good. Keep your arms here. We're going to do some knee drops. So keeping your hips still, going to take one leg out and bring it back. And the other side and back. Drop the leg down and just make sure as you drop one knee down that the opposite hip doesn't move. Gently going from side to side. Take it down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Two more. Last one. Very good. Take your hands behind your head. We're going to do some ab curls. Now remember when you do an ab curl, your chin is going to stay away from your chest. So big breath in. Exhale as you lift up. Inhale as you come down. Keep that long neck. And your hands are supporting your head. Exhale up. Inhale down. Good job. Gently lifting up. And one more like this. And take it down. Okay, now we're going to do 10 more, but we're not going to touch the floor in between. Are you ready? So we're going to lift up three quarters of the way down and lift. And lift. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And take it down. Good job. We're going to come up and across. So inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to lift the shoulder towards the opposite knee. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it. So you're just coming up and across. Up and across. Up and across. So we're just warming up the abs. Two more. And now we're going to come up. We're going to hold it at the top here. And we're going to lift for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it down with control. And if you're ready, we're going to the other side. Let's lift up. Lift it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And take it down. Well done. Now we're going to work the lower abdominals. So in here. So we're going to lift the legs to tabletop position. So lift them up to here. And one leg at a time, we're going to stretch the leg away 
and come back. Stretch the leg away and come back. And stretch and come back. Let's take the arms in the air so you're not using them to push on the floor. Did I mention we were doing strength work today? You've guessed already, haven't you? Stretch it away, looking good. <sighs> lengthen the legs. And lengthen. And stretching away. And four. And three. And two. And one. And take the feet down to the floor. And have a lovely stretch. And stretch it out. Well done. Okay, are you ready for the hundred? So you can have your head up or down. It's entirely up to you. And you can have your legs in tabletop position. Or you can have your legs straight. So you choose head up or down, legs bent or straight. I'm going to come up here. And let's start the breathing. We're going to breathe. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Seven more breaths. Looking good. And when you're done, bring your head in and then take your head from side to side. Well done. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to do the double leg lower. So easy option. Legs are going to be in tabletop position. And from here, we're just going to push the knees away and bring them back in. Exhale down. Inhale up. So that's your easy option. Harder option, we're going to have straight legs. We can take the legs down and up. Down and up. And if you can, let's take the arms to the ceiling. Exhale, inhale. Now you're going to decide how big the movement's going to be, making sure your back's not arching and your tummy's not doming. Any discomfort on your back, please do it with bent legs. Take it down. Two more. Last one. And tuck it in and roll your knees round. Well done, good job. Let's come round on the side. So we're going to work the oblique muscles now. We're going to do some side bends. So we're going to have the elbow underneath the shoulder and we're going to hook the feet together. So you're going to pop the foot here so it's hooked onto this angle, ankle, not angle, ankle. Easy option, all we're going to do is lift the hips up and take it down. Lift the hips up and take it down. If you can, lift the arm up and take it down. So that's your easier option. Harder option, we're going to have straight legs. We're going to lift the hips up and then with control, bring it down. So coming down is actually a little bit harder than going up because you've got to control it. You're fighting gravity. Looking good. Fabulous. Stretch it up. Take it down. Let me see. Stretch it up. Lovely job. Yes, Charlotte, I'm watching. Lift it up. I'm watching Janice in America doing a beautiful job. Lift it up. Coming down with control. Coming down.
me do two more. Last one. Very good. Come up to the centre. Let's just release that shoulder. So just roll it round. Release any tension. And then we're going to go down the other side. So when you're ready, come round onto the opposite side. So remember, easy option. You're going to keep the underneath knee in touch with the floor. Going to push up and take it down. Or hand on the knee. Lifting up, all with straight legs, coming up and control it as you lower back down. Lift it up and down. Lift it. Very good. Lifting up. Let's do four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Ah, take it down. Well done. And come up to the centre. And let's wriggle those shoulders and just release any tension. Well done. Okay, we're going to take the band now. We're going to come round onto the mat. And we're going to do either some rolling like a ball or some rollbacks. So we're going to pop your toes into your band. So if you're working without a band, you're just going to do rolling like a ball. So there's no problem. So, easy option if you don't want to do, you're just going to tuck it back and come up and stretch that back. Roll it back, take it up. If you're going to do rolling, tuck in tight, roll it back and come up and stop at the top. Good job. One more like this. Now we're going to really work on the strength. So from here, we're going to stretch the arms and stretch the legs. Tuck it back in and roll. Stop at the top. Stretch. Tuck in. Roll it back. Stretch. Tuck. Roll. Stretch, tuck it in, roll it back, two more, last one, very good, well done, now we're going to put the band on one leg, we're going to come back and we're going to do some leg circles, so again you can do it without the band, it's fine. So we're going to take the leg across the body. We're going to go down, out to the side, and then use that band to really pull that leg in towards you and across the body. Remember, if you've got any knee or hip issues, just work to your own range of movement. Pull that band in. Stretch it round. Lovely. Let's do three more in this direction. And then we're going to change direction. Let's do eight in the opposite direction. Making sure you're keeping the other leg nice and straight and strong. Very good. Take it round. Use that band. Pull the leg in towards you. Work it. I've lost count, but I think this is the last one. 
and then we're going to bring it in here and then you're going to pull the leg in towards you so if you haven't got a band just hold on to your leg and just pull it in towards you try and flex the toe down I know you can't see my toe but it is there so flex it down towards you and get that lovely stretch down the back of the leg and gently release it let's change to the other side so the easiest way to change is to put the second one in take the first one out so straighten that leg flex it on the floor and we'll come across the body down and out lovely big circles keeping the hips nice and still flexing the foot on the straight leg take it round five more big circles pulling it right in towards you and then back the other way take it round really bringing the leg across the body we have some very entertaining dogs on screen tonight <laughs> take it round last one and then pull it in towards you and stretch the back of that leg pull the toes down and really stretch through the back of your leg very good and release the band and let's pop it down by your side okay we're going to go into the bridge so feet and knees hip width apart find that soft curve in your spine big deep breath in exhale as you flatten your back squeeze the glutes lift the hips all the way up inhale at the top and exhale as you roll down through the spine and back to neutral big deep breath take it down rolling through your spine squeeze those glutes now on the next one we're going to hold it at the top so we're going to come all the way up now easy option all I want you to do is lift one foot off the floor lift the other foot on the floor and then roll back down again harder option from the top we're going to lift this leg up we're going to flex the foot as you go down point the toe as you come up flex down point up flex down point up and just make sure that your butt isn't sinking down onto the mat last one place that foot down make sure your hips are still up let's do the other leg flex point flex and point flex point flex point push it down push it down last one feet on the floor and then let's just do a couple of gentle bridges up and down just working through the spine very good and then hug your knees into your chest roll them round and relax very good okay now we're going to come round onto our side so we're going to take the band and we're going to pop both feet in it and we're going to have it just above the ankles and we're going to find a lovely long straight line so one shoulder on top of the other hips one on top of the other are we all ready looking beautiful so we're going to start by lifting the top leg so we're going to flex the foot and point the toe 
flex and point. So you're just pushing into that band. If you haven't got the band there, just imagine you've got the resistance and you're going to work that leg. Push it up, flex up, point down, push, push it up, push it up. Now we're going to hold the leg here and what we're going to do this time is going to lift the top leg, we're going to bring the underneath leg up to meet it, we're going to lift them both and we're going to take it down. So it's a lift lift double lift and lower with control very good one lift two lift double lift controlled lower lift lift double lift and lower so really focus on lowering down with as much control as you can manage i know it's late at night but do your best lift and down lift lift double lift and down lift lift double lift and take it all the way down well done very good okay now we're going to come forwards and backwards so we're going to lift the top leg up we're going to take the underneath leg just off the floor and we're going to push into the band coming forwards and going back now the underneath legs not moving so you're keeping that underneath leg really still if you absolutely have to put it on the floor but if you can keep it just off the floor if you need to fingertips in front for balance if you don't need them here let's lift it up forwards and back forwards and back forwards and back so you should feel it working right down the side of your leg let's do four more and three and two and last one and rest it down well done okay we're going to do the clam so we're going to pull the band up above your knees if you're using one you can do it lying down or if you want to work the core we're going to come up onto the elbow so working on your elbow make sure you're lifting your ribs so we're not slouching we're up here nice and controlled and we're going to push that knee up into the band or push it up as though you've got some resistance there push it up lift it up so you're working the core, you're working your shoulder, push it up, very good, push it up, four more, and again we're really focusing on controlling as we come back down not pinging back and rest it down let's come down and do some chalk shot chalk circles so make sure you've got some space so wiggle if you need to knees and hips glued still so we have to try and get the mic out of the way we're going to come up and round so you're trying to keep your hand on the floor as long as you can. And 
we're just going to stretch over. Reaching across, stretch it over. Very good. Come round sitting forwards. We just adjust this slightly. So we're going to take the band off now. And we're going to have a little go at our flamingo exercise. Which is a great stretch exercise, but it's also great for strength. So some of you haven't done this one before. So we're going to start with the feet to one side and we're going to start off with the stretch. So all we do is grab hold of your leg wherever you can reach. Big deep breath in and as you exhale, you're going to stretch this leg up. But as you do so, you're going to straighten through the back. So you're lifting that leg up as straight as you can and then tuck it back in. Big deep breath in, exhale as you stretch. So at this stage, this is just a stretch exercise. Very good. So you can keep on with this version. If you wish, we'll go to stage two and then you're gonna lift it up and you're gonna stretch behind you. Tuck it in, lift and stretch. Tuck it in, so you're rotating through the spine but you're still lengthening up as you stretch the back and turn okay so we're going to do one more like this and then those who wish to we're going to take it to level three if you don't want to go to level three you stick up with one of those two so for level three we're going to hold on to the leg hand on the floor big deep breath in and we're going to lift the underneath leg Trying to get the legs as close together as you can. Lift it up and lift it. Beautiful, lovely control. Looking good. Four more. Three, two, one and rest it down let's go to the other side so give me a little wiggle so again we're going to start with the stretch and if you want to you can just stick with the stretch so big breath in exhale as you come up stretching through the back trying to get that leg as straight as possible and tuck it back in big breath stretching up and tuck it down stretch it I did quite a challenging bar class this morning and then I did a 5k walk. My legs seriously need some stretching. Stretch it up. So you can carry on with this one. Those of you that want to, we're going to let go and we're going to stretch behind. Lift it up. Lifting up, very good. So you're going to turn the upper body. So getting that little twist in the thoracic region of your back. Two more. And then we're going to pop the hand down. Going to hold on to this leg. And we're going to lift the underneath leg up. Use the breath, use your core. Oh, sliding away. Let's do four more. And rest it down. Well done. And come round to sitting. Just relax the shoulders, shake the hands out. And let's do the saw. Arms to the side. Inhale as you come round. Exhale as you push forwards. Pushing towards your little toe. Stretch it round. Take it round and stretch it. Shh. 
Another swarm. And let's do spine stretch forward. So when you're ready, feet together, toes up to the ceiling, big breath in. And as you exhale, we're gonna tilt the pelvis back and then roll forward, stretching to those feet, slowly, slowly coming back up. Big deep breath. Slowly coming up. And stretch it. Stretching forwards. And stretch it. Now this time we're going to grab hold of whatever you can reach. So if you can reach your toes, grab hold of your toes, just pull them in and get that lovely stretch down the back of your legs. Big deep breath. Well done. And release it. Okay, let's get the band ready because we've got to do the other side now. So both feet in the band, coming round this side. So find that long straight line. Ooh, move this little kit out of the way. I've got a big body belt on under here with all this kit in it. <laughs> so nice long straight line. Hips one on top of the other. Legs nice and straight. Big deep breath. Exhale as you flex the foot up, point the toe as you come down. Flex up, point down. Very good. So if you've got a band, you're using it for resistance. If you haven't, just imagine there's some resistance there that you're working with. Push it up. Push up. Push it up. Two more. Now we're going to take the underneath leg up as well. So we're going to lift the top leg, lift the underneath leg, squeeze up, lower with control. Sorry about that. Lift, lift, squeeze and lower. Lift, lift, squeeze and lower. Lift, lift, squeeze and lower. And when you go down, try not to touch the floor. Lift, lift, squeeze and lower. Four more. That's it, lovely control. You're just trying to lift them a little bit higher and then really control it as you lower back down. Last one. Very good. Well done. Now we're going to do the forward and back with the top leg. So underneath leg just off the floor if you can. If you want to bring your arm up here and we're going to take the top leg forwards and back forwards and back forwards and back trying to keep the underneath leg as still as you can and you're pushing into that band so by increasing the resistance you're just making those muscles work a little bit harder forwards and back forwards and back let's do four more Three more, and back, and two more. Is that thigh burning? Yep, mine is. And rest it down. Okay, let's come up ready for the clam. So you're gonna put the band around your knees, just above your knees. And remember, you can lie down on your side. Those of you that like to come up on the elbow will be here. You're gonna lift the ribs up, and then from here, Keeping this control, we're going to push the knee up from here. So 
So I like to pop the hand here just so you make sure that your hips aren't moving because we don't want the hips rolling back. We're just pushing up. So make sure you've got that soft tension around your core. Very good. Let's do four more. And three. And two. And one. Very good. Well done. Let's do our chalk circles. So find your space. Just come right forward. So find your space. Glue the knees to the floor. Inhale as you lift up. Exhale as you stretch around. Opening the shoulders. Take it round. Stretch it open. Nice and slowly opening that shoulder. In that delicious stretch across the chest, mobilizing the shoulder joint. Let's do one last one. And then come up to the side. Oh, you can slip your band off now. We're done with that for the minute. And then let's take it up to the side and stretch up and over. Beautiful. Good job. Hope everybody's okay. We're going to come round on our front now. So we're going to lie on our front. And we're going to start with a strength version of the swan dive. So you're going to have one hand on top of the other. Come around this way a bit so you can see. You're going to put your forehead on your hands. Big deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're just going to lift up and take it down. Lift up and down. So you won't come up anywhere near as high as you would do when we're doing this version, but it's really going to strengthen your back. So big deep breaths in. Exhale as you lift. Lifting up. Try not to jerk. Make it smooth and contract. Two more. And take it down. Well done. Let's go into our normal swan dive. So inhale to prepare. Exhale as you lift up. Inhale as you come down. Lengthening through the arms and take it down. Stretch it up. Now those of you that like to, we're going to bring the legs into it. So when you come up, we're going to tighten the glutes and as you go down, we'll let the legs come up behind you. Sorry about the crackles. Two more. Uh, and take it down. Well done. Let's do the dart. So hands by your sides. And I want those legs really soft. Inhale to prepare. Exhale as you lift up, squeeze the shoulders together. Inhale as you come down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Squeeze. Release. Squeeze the shoulders together and take it down. Squeeze. 
Smooth, controlled, not rushing it. Two more. And release it. Let's just push back into your child's post stretch. So knees tucked under, push it back and stretch through the back. Big deep breaths. And then when you're stretched, come forward on your elbows. Let's do the lovely little one leg kick. So from here, we're gonna push the pubic bone into the mat, lift the lower belly, and we'll point and flex and point and switch. Point, flex, point. So what we're trying to feel is the stretch down the front of your quads. So that's here. So if you're not really feeling that, tilt your pelvis a little bit more until you get that stretch. So you're gonna be working your hamstrings, but we really wanna feel that stretch down the front of the thigh. Two more. Last one. And take it down, well done. Let's lie down, we're gonna do swimming now. So arms nice and straight, face looking down, little fingers to the floor. Inhale to prepare and exhale as you lift, stretching away. Now remember, if this causes any discomfort on your back, you can do arm, arm, leg, leg. You don't have to do both together. And those of you that want to work a little bit harder, we're going to lift both arms and legs, and we're going to breathe in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. As you gently pulse the arms and legs. So this is fantastic for strengthening all those little muscles that support your spine. If it's too uncomfortable, one at a time. Very good. A couple more breaths. It's our last big bit of effort. Keep it going. And rest. Well done. Up on your hands and knees. So we're going to stretch through the back. So big deep breath in. Exhale as you tuck your back up. Let your head go down. Gently drop the waist. And lift it up. Stretching up. And take it down. Lift up. And down. So working through your full range of movement. Lift it up. And down. One more. Very good. Then we're going to stretch the back of the legs. So tuck the toes under. We're going to lift the hips up. And then you're going to push your heels down. Now you can push one at a time. Or you can push both together. So see which gives you the best stretch today. Push it back. Stretch it out. Stretch it. And gently lower down. And come round onto your back. Hug the knees into your chest and just roll them round. Both ways. Just release that spine. And then we're going to take the feet away. Take the arms away. Stretch through the body. Big deep breaths. And then bring your arms down by your sides. 
And let's finish with a little bit of relaxation. So big deep breaths. Fill the lungs full of oxygen. Exhale deeply, getting rid of any scale air. Big deep breaths. Let your feet relax. Release any tension around the toes and around the ankles. Let your shins and calves relax. Let your knees be soft. And let your thighs relax. Let your hips be soft and open. And let those deep abdominal muscles relax. Fill them with oxygen. Letting them relax and recover. Big deep breaths. Let your neck and shoulders be soft. Let your hands and arms relax. Let your face be soft. Release any tension around the eyes and through the jaw. And just focus on your breath. Just letting the muscles relax and recover. Big deep breaths. Actually, let the awareness come back to your feet. Let the awareness come back through your legs. Into your torso. Into your hands and arms. Slowly bring your face back to full awareness. Come round onto one side. And very slowly make your way back up into a sitting position. And let's take some big deep breaths. Going to breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Last one. And one hand here and one here. And give yourself a big clap. Well done, everybody. Great workout. I hope you feel okay.